let's look into the shared channel in downlink in more detail. So any information or user data which is passed on in downlink will be done by the PDSCH. This information or user data is also known as a transport block or payload. So information which is coming from the upper layers, which is MAC layer here, that information is coming into the form of a transport blocks or we call it as a TB. Now these transport blocks, while passing on to the lower layers in the downlink, there, there is a proper different steps which needs to be followed to process the information. Now the very first step in this processing is a cyclic redundancy check. The information or the TBs, the transport block which is coming, first it will be checked for any error here. If any error detected, there will be a LDPC codes which will then identify these particular errors and correct. So in 4G we had a turbo codes, but in 5G it's a better version to correct any error which is which has been found in the information coming from the upper layer. Once that is done, there will be a rate matching so that whatever the information, the rate size or the frame size in which the information is passing on to the lower layer, it will match to the transport block size in the upper layer. So if any information is repeating, it will automatically detect that it needs not to be resent again. After that, there will be a scrambling that will happen. In this case, it will be able to identify any interference by identifying the PCI for the different cells. If there is a same signal strength coming from the different cells, it will identify that which PCI needs to be considered and which PCI needs to be ignored so that there will be no interference. After that, there will be different modulation schemes that is used in NR in 5G, right from the PSK to 256 QAM. So depending upon what kind of data needs to be sent at which modulation, the information is then adopt that particular modulation scheme and then map this particular information transport blocks into the lower physical layer through the different multi and DNAP recording. So we have seen that time and frequency domain, we have to inform or we have to incorporate all the information into the resource element level that will be done here. There are different reference signals in downlink, which is demodulation reference signal, face tracking reference signal, and channel state information reference signal. Now, similar to PDCCH, let's understand the allocation of PDSCH in time and frequency grade. We have frequency range 2 and 100 megahertz of channel bandwidth here. And we are seeing there is a SSP as well as there is a PDCCH along with the core set which is defined here. So if we want to allocate PDSCH here, we have what kind of starting symbol we are giving to allocate for PDCCH. So whatever is left after core set and PDCCH and SSP, we can allocate them across PDSCH. So we can either start it from within one particular subframe. We can start from zero OFTM symbol and we can go up to 14 OFTM symbol. Or if we don't want to allocate it According to this one, we can deselect some of the symbols. So we can say, for example, we can keep from slot number starting from slot number two and we can go up till slot number 14 and rest of the two slots. We don't want to allocate it for PDSCH. Now within this PDSCH, we have certain reference signals. Now for DMRS, again, within at the resource element level, we can see that within a PDSCH resource block, we can see how the DMRS can be allocated. So here we are starting it from what kind of slot we are starting it from. We are starting it from slot number two. We can change it position. We can change it from two to three and it will just shift towards right. Then again, if we look into the length, we can change the length also. If we want to have more accurate channel estimation, we'll have more resources allocated for DMRS. Again, for PTRS, which is face tracking reference signal, we can again enable them and we can change the density in frequency and time doing. So this is how the reference signals are being allocated.